Here's a little video I decided to put together, uh, giving an overview of the construction of one of our buildings here on the farm. Um, this is our tractor or implement shed. We built this 10 years ago or so in 2010. And I was just going to show a few of the main features of it. You can see here it's a uh, three bay structure. So there's three main areas. Um, really inside it's all one big area, but from the outside it has the three entrances it looks like based on the posts that are used to construct it. So this is a pole barn, which means it's basically constructed around a number of posts that are set into the ground. Um, and then the posts themselves have cross members supporting them. And then, then a uh, surface material is applied over that for the surface of the barn. Here's a view from the other side showing the uh, different angle, I guess, of the uh, shed. So this is basically centered around 11 posts, five on the back, four on the front, and one on each middle of the sides. They're six by six inch hemlock posts. The structure is about 12 feet high in the front and eight feet high in the back, 32 feet long and 18 feet deep. We've covered it in red pine from our own plantation that you can see back here. Um, we had a few of the trees cut and uh, milled by a local person and they were screwed on green or soft before they dried out. And that's because they're, they, they are fairly easy to screw through when they're green. As, they, as red pine gets harder or drier, it gets very hard and, is, and actually becomes fairly brittle. The posts, uh, for some of our buildings, we've put them right in the ground, but for this building, because of its size, uh, we wanted it to be uh, built more, more uh, long lasting, I guess you'd say. So we put the posts on cement piers and these piers go in into the ground. They were uh, put in as sono tubes and then filled up with cement. They go down below the frost line about three and a half feet. And then these metal saddles were put on top to hold the posts. And you can see they got screws and lag bolts into the post bottom. The posts themselves are, in this case for this shed, were six by six, true six by six hemlock. And they go up to uh, hold white pine beams in the front here. It's about a six by 10 inch white pine beam or white pine beams. The main one under the roof there that's, that I'm going along. Uh, and then at the back, there's a smaller one about six by eight inches in size. You can see there at the back on top of the post back there. You'll see the posts along the back have diagonal cross members of one by six, just to add rigidity um, in a lateral direction. And also there you can see the saddle at the top of the post holding those beams. We wanted this structure to have no internal uh, posts to get in the way of storage. So we had to build it with a specific number of roof rafters and size of roof rafters. So these are uh, two by 10 roof rafters. And you can see there's quite a few of them um, along the length of the, the building here. Probably 20, 20 or more of them. Just to ensure that they, it, the building would have a structural strength under snow, heavy snow loads without internal uh, bracing. This is just a view of the side middle uh, post going up with the diagonal cross members to add strength. And they, we were sort of using our own uh, design for some of this structural um, 
support mechanisms. Here, here's the sign I made for the uh, structure. Coyote Bend, I wanted it again to look sort of like the Old West or a Mexican type uh, sign with the brighter colors. Uh, um, just reminiscent of the Mexico or something like that. Um, there's a false front here, I guess. I have the siding sort of going behind the main, main top beam and then a lower uh, cross member with, a few, with uh, some verticals, short verticals, just to give the building a bit more of a protective top front to it. Still allow enough height to get the tractor in with the uh, rollover protection bar uh, fully up still. So it's got enough height for that. Just coming around to the east side again, just showing the red pine covering and the roof has the uh, purlins diagonally to the roof rafters set every two feet, as you can see there. And they hold the, uh, and that's what the roofing is screwed into the galvalume, it's called, or aluminum roofing that we put onto the structure. Just the uh, picture of the back of the barn or the shed showing the roofing again. Big sheets of uh, this galvalume metal roofing that's put on with screws through those purlins that were going across the roof rafters. This shows the red pine siding that we put on from our plantation. As I mentioned, we put it on when it was green using screws. And after it dried, it uh, shrunk quite a bit. Just, so all these gaps that you see along here are from the wood having dried out. But that's actually not a bad thing because it allows air flow through the barn or through the shed, but still keeps out water and sunlight for the most part. This is an example of a little nesting platform I've put up here in the tractor shed. I've done this with a number of our buildings here on the farm. It's just a little multi-compartment box, basically. It's probably about eight inches deep on the bottom. Has three compartments. These ones here are about 10 inches wide each. And then I've hung the whole box down from the roof rafters on pieces of two by eight here. Um, so the box is about a foot down from the metal roof. This gives it protection from the heat of the roof. Also, the fact that it's made out of one inch lumber um, gives it additional heat coming down from the hot metal roof in the hot summer. You don't want to put a nesting platform like this too close to the roof, especially if your little platform doesn't have a roof like this one does. Sometimes people will just put a little shelf with no roof at all and they'll put it too close to the metal and then the, the young can burn up in that case. Fun to try. Anyhow, these ones have been used by Phoebes. I was hoping to get barn swallows, but haven't had any luck with them yet, even though they do nest in the local area.